So you think you need a new computer mouse? Have you done a web search for these things? There are thousands of them out there. How do you sort through them? Well, I'm gonna give you a running head start. Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Mike Gugino and I'm an ergonomics consultant with the State Compensation Insurance Fund and today we're gonna to be talking about computer mice. Now there was no way for the designers of the mouse to be able to foresee into the future how important and integral the mouse would become in the computer experience but what we see is we see a lot of overuse in the right hand side and so whenever we go into an office environment performing ergonomic evaluations the most common question that we get is hey i'm having issues with my right hand side uh, some discomfort what's the best mouse i can use to get rid of that and really what you need to do is number one, take a look at the tasks being performed and do a quick analysis. But number two, you might wanna think about, well, gosh, I really need to more evenly distribute my workload between my right hand and my left hand. I need to have a, a little bit more of an even balance there. So start mousing with your left hand. And that's a really easy thing to do, but has a great impact on your comfort level. So um, the standard mouse can do that. Uh, this mouse can do it, this mouse, this mouse. Uh, so you've got a lot of options. It might seem difficult, but it can be done. Millions of people do it, I do it. Um, if you go into settings, you can switch your functionality of your primary button and your secondary button, and your right hand mouse becomes a left hand mouse. So this is your standard mouse, scrolling, two buttons, on off switch because it's wireless. It doesn't have to be wireless. It can be wired, but that's your standard mouse. That can, that can happen right hand to left hand. This next mouse here is, is a mouse that allows you to take your hand from this flat position up into an upright position, which is a more neutral position related to bones in your forearm, but it's, it uh, takes your hand from the flat to upright. Now, just because you're working with a mouse that requires a flat hand doesn't necessarily indicate you're going to have some kind of issue, but this is something that allows a more neutral position for the wrist. So you've got standard scrolling features here, two buttons, signable buttons here, and it gives you a nice grip. This one you cannot switch to your left hand. You've got to buy a second mouse for any kind of left hand use, but there you go. This next one has a lot of the same features, a couple more buttons. There's three buttons here, scrolling, two buttons here next to the thumb holster. And the difference being is that this one can go from a more of a flatter position to a more of an upright position. Keep your hand in a very upright position. So uh, this, is, this is a good one for any kind of issue you might have where you want to have your hand much more upright. So there's that. This next mouse looks a lot like a penguin. Um, and this is uh, one of the reasons why I like it. Um, but the scrolling feature uh, here, right, uh, right in the front of the mouse, the two buttons here, and you can switch between right hand and left hand pretty easily. And it's quite comfortable moving from right to left. This next one is more of a fingertip grip type of mouse, very lightweight. If you're gripping it, like this, you're over gripping it. So when, if you do pick up a mouse like this and you're using it, think pencil or pen. And so it's got scrolling here, buttons here, and you can switch from right hand to left hand with a very simple switch right there. And the next mouse is a marble mouse. There are a number of different types of these. Uh, this one is the symmetrical type with a marble in the middle. It's got a scroll ring around the side and buttons on the right hand side or left hand side and you can move it from the right hand to the left hand pretty easily again going into settings and switching the functionality um, if you've got an issue with a shoulder and you've got to keep your shoulder more still this actually works quite well you can place your hand on the table and then just scroll with your fingers when you're placing your hand and your forearm on the table you've got some contact stress there so uh, be aware of any kind of sensitivity that might result from that and the last input device that you see here is a piece of hardware that uh, has all the mousing functions and it's got a, a scroll function here. And this is a little bit different than a typical touchpad where you drag your finger across. On this, you actually just move the surface itself up and down and left and right and diagonal. It has buttons here that are assignable right there. And then pads where you can rest your palms in between typing functions. 
So if you are in charge at work of handing out computer equipment like mice and keyboards and such, you might want to consider if you've got a lot of equipment going out but ne you never see it again and you never hear anything about it, uh, you might want to consider starting a loaner program. Grab two or three or four of these depending on your needs and hand them out as loaners making sure that they come back and then that way you can get feedback on what works and what doesn't based on the tasks that are in your office. So you can achieve a lot more comfort in your workday if you approach the need for maybe a new mouse in a very smart way.